Hello again. Of course, it's me. As what games? Let's skip this. Because usually, this game spoil everything about. The game itself. Alright, so this came out in 2004. I don't remember if this, the, it has subtitles. We might not need this. Vibration, sure, but it's strong. Should I put the sound as mono or stereo? We even use this mono anymore. Apart from, you know, certain accessibility issues. Very, very deep settings. I hear that this game can run terribly on the emulator. Some people have no issues with it, I don't know. So, he was hoping it runs alright. New game. And not even an option. Damn it, we're in France again. Hey Thomas, how you doing? I would have told you to get out for spoilers, but I literally just started, so there are no New spoilers for you. This is a very well-known French uh, tradition. Not a single word was spoken so far.
fiddled around with the settings a little bit because I hear some settings are better for the emulator with this game. And look at the graphic improvement. I'm doing alright. Try playing uh, Mario a little bit, but... I don't know, it wasn't... Uh, I wasn't feeling it. So I decided to swap to this. the first media that did the whole close-up on a statue while people get killed because it's a very common cinematic uh, choice Like, oh, he saved me. Nope. Dropped like a sack of bricks. It wouldn't be Shadow Hearts without uh, the camera focusing on somebody's ass. Same director as the first game, obviously. That's as much as I can remember. The following day, Lieutenant Koenig, you were found by the Metz Highway, along with Sergeant Robert and eight survivors. Yes, sir. It's quite a story. But it seems we'll have to believe you. General, just give me another- Lieutenant! <sighs> Karen, I've already decided to do that. I'm sending you back to that village. Yes, yeah, shut up, Karen. But this time, you'll be a guide. Me, a guide? Our forces invaded France from the north and have managed to push back the western front beyond the Meuse River. But that village alone has stubbornly refused to surrender to us and continues to remain outside the Empire's grasp. Dom Remy may be beautiful, but it has absolutely no strategic value to us. But for the honor of the Empire, we must not allow anyone, or anything, to stand against us. Even if we have to face a demon itself. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Hmm. And we're immediately introduced to the male and female lead 
just like the first game. This is Cardinal Nicholas Conrad. He's come all the way from the Vatican. spring. The world is in the middle of a huge upheaval. It started with a single shot, and the fire of war spread within a single instant. I changed something there. To stop it flickering. ...was engulfed, and the struggle soon grew into the first worldwide war the human race had ever known. From a corner of this battlefield, our story begins once again. You had to swap from hardware rendering to software rendering to stop the flickering. I read about that um, happening to some people. I did it with F9, just so you know, Thomas, whenever you play this. And of course, the hard door. Obvious who this is. Yep. That wasn't subtitled for some reason. Yeah, I was on hardware too, but that cutscene, you saw how it was flickering in the beginning. I had to swap the software to calm it down. The world map screen. Pressing triangle button on the world map opens a command menu. You can also save it any time from the world map screen. Alright, we have Karen and Nikolai. I usually don't really upscale emulated games. Some people upscale this one to 4K or whatever, but... Alright, General Hyman. Imperial German Army General and Commander of Luxembourg Forces. He orders Karen's squadron to investigate the demon of Dombremy, impending their invasion force. Impeding their invasion force. And that's the only person we have on file? Right, we have is this similar items for healing. We have arrays, three tents. Galad swore the sword from the days of King Arthur and his Knights of the Round Table, a consecrated, closely guarded treasure. Only the chosen few may handle it. That's obviously Nikolai's sword, a ceremonial sword worn by German officers similar to a Japanese katana. It allows for both thrusting and slashing attacks. All right. Paladin's robe. Formal, public attire for holy sages made of mere cloth, the blessings of generations of archbishops have imbued it with spiritual protection. Code for a female officer of the German military, devoid of rank or insignia, and dyed a plain dark camouflage. It is clearly meant for the battlefield. No accessories. We have... Let's look at their stats. Yeah, he's, he's stronger than her because he's higher level. You know, guys have to be stronger. Oh, we can look at the profile here. I forgot, it's not in the library anymore. <laughs> Lieutenant in the German Imperial Army, she has been ordered by General Hyman head of the gar garrison at Luxembourg to capture the village of Domemi. I didn't read the Nikolai one because I noticed it has spoilers on it for some reason. You know what, let's save. A quick save. We just started, but why not? The music is really chill in this game. I prefer the battle music in this one to the other one. Right, a pointed tower. 
One week later, late night, Vatican. Is this your first time at the Vatican? Um, yes. I need to do some careful preparation before we go to Dom Rem. There's a certain item that I must have in order to complete this mission. A certain item? Yes, a sort of good luck charm. It's used for exorcisms. And that's where we're going now? Yes, it's inside a Poina Tower. Also known as the Tower of Atonement. Were this lowering or was it just a slowdown? You know of it. <laughs> For many, many years, dangerous heretics and others like them were kept in prison there. Maybe they were drunk. It's filled with the spirits of those who went mad from the torture. That's why it's a safe resting place for the item that I seek. But why am I coming? Well, to get to the top of the tower, I need your help. I'll feel much safer if you're with me. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna need the live captioning. a slowdown in Shadow Hearts 1 because I I think I changed some settings to what they suggested on the emulator site but um, yeah there is a bit of a slowdown there yeah swapping to hardware for some scenes makes it better I should warn you it's completely different here inside the tower can I speed up the text it's filled with real monsters and ghosts, you know? Monsters? But don't worry, compared to that demon in Dormammu, these should be a snap to handle. Now make sure you don't wander too far from me. Let's go. Learn about battle basics? Sure. First, let's cover normal attacks. To use a weapon, select your attack target with the attack command. Alright. The judgment ring will appear. This ring will affect your actions. You'll be seeing a lot of it throughout the game. Really? A lot of it throughout the game? I don't think we're gonna see all that much of it. The areas of color on the ring are called hit areas. Hit these sections and you'll perform an attack. The red parts beside the hit areas are called strike areas. Your attack will become more powerful if you hit these. When the ring appears, the indicator will start revol to revolve. Press X. Press the X button to stop it in a colored area. Uh, I think you mean to say area of color? With normal attacks using weapon, the number of attacks you can perform is the same as the number of hit areas. This time you'll perform two attacks if you hit both areas. If you miss any, you'll perform fewer attacks. This is not me pressing by the way. I was trying to press but then I realized it's not me pressing. Next you'll learn about special abilities. Try using Nikolai's special abilities, white magic and blessed light. The judgment ring also appears when using special abilities. The green parts are called step areas, they don't affect the special ability strength, but you do have to hit them. 
It's the blue modulate areas that determine the strength. Hit them in the latter half for increased power. If you hit all of the areas that appear on the Judgment Ring, you'll succeed, it, um, you'll succeed in using the special ability. Right. Okay, now try using the Blessed Light. Besides the Judgment Ring you just learned about, there are other types of rings that appear in the game. Yeah, but two enemies were next to each other, and this uh, this one has a small AoE area, so it hits more than one target. But the same basic rule applies, try to hit every area on the ring. That's the end of the battle tutorial. Yeah, you can go hard hit, high angle, knockdown, standard. They do change the combat system quite a bit. I'm not getting as much of a delay this time. All we can do is go forward. The same music here, the results screen. Those were easier than most. Are you all right? Uh, I'm fine. is silly. They're a leave for it. It's like he's going out for a run. You know those people who are taking a jog and then waiting at the traffic light? And end up jogging in place? That's the kind of animation he has. Hmm, left to right. Let's go right. I think that one might be, might be blocked because it's red. Learn about combos? Of course. To carry out a combo, first you have to get your party members into combo mode with the combo command. Here is a combo with Nikolai and Karen. The combo starts when the first party member attacks. The hit classes you select when you issue the attack command are very important in the combo attacks. If the hit class combination is good, the combo will follow and work well. Let's try starting the combo with a normal high angle attack this time. Succeed on the judgment ring where the character is performing a combo and the combo ring will start to, will start to turn. You have to press the same button as the one shown on the ring before it stops spinning. If you fail at the combo ring, it's a combo break and the combo ends. If you succeed at the combo ring, the other members involved in the combo will automatically get their turn. Now go after that monster you just attacked. Standard, I guess. Get the combos flowing and your hits will start adding up. Combos let you attack the enemy rapidly from one party member's turn to another. They also increase the damage done as the number of hits mounts up, so they're a really great way to attack. They're especially good against bosses and unusually strong opponents. There's also a shortcut function for entering combo commands. Activate shortcuts by switching on the combo switch setting in the combo setup. See the command menu help for more information on combos and shortcuts. Yeah, you can see the combat is already more complex than the first game. That's the end of the combo tutorial. I 
after moving stay and resist defense until next move or I'll do nothing. Get tossed. Yeah, combo break. I was trying to go for the perfect. for her. I keep pressing square to open the menu, alright. Yeah, I think the other side is lo locked. Yeah. It shows us red. Door is firmly locked. I love how his huge door is talking. Yeah, I'm not sure which is sillier. Yuri's uh, running animation from Shadow Arts 1 or Nicola's running animation in Shadow Arts 2. Oh, I know what his animation reminds me of. Do you know, um... Uh, Titus in Final Fantasy X, he has one, I think, uh, a dream section where he is jocks in place. It's the exact same animation. It is, isn't it? Must remember it. Been imprisoned and died here over the years. Noblemen who lost in battle. Tragic princesses who were thought to have died of illnesses. You can still feel their malice. I knew it. What is it? I'm not sure. But when I met that demon in Dome Remy, I didn't sense the malevolence that I feel from the people in this tower. Could it have been because you were so afraid, then? That may be part of it, but... He... was beautiful. Interesting word to use. Also... Also? He seemed sad. I mean, if you, uh, if you get the bad ending in the first game, more like the canon ending, Yuri does say he's gonna do something about uh, Alice being dead. And you know, it's kind of interesting that they showed um, Kato... You got, you got the scene with um, Kato sending a letter to... Well, not Kato sending... Uh, it's meeting the people in Shanghai and then them sending a letter to Zhu Zhen, right? Um, I'm gonna combo him. Messing up. But yeah, there was a scene where they show you exactly what happened to Kawashima. I'm really messing up. The timing. I'm, I need to get used to the timing again for this. My brain is uh, 
is warping to Shadow Hearts timing. Also, the screen is going black because of the whole... What is going on? She went berserk. Don't mess my clothes up. Yeah, the screen is going black during the judgment ring because of the software hardware rendering stuff. She only has four SP, that's terrible. And now I'm out of MP. Great. Area expand. I'm slowing down if I. Yeah, there has to be a way to deal with the slowdown. Yeah, we can set up combos here. Look at my score. Perfect success rate is 27%. If I want the extreme accessory, I need to be a 65% or above. That's terrible. This is annoying. In combat, I'd get a black screen if I stick to hardware. But when I'm moving around, I get um, slowdowns if I stick to software. So I need to toggle between them, I guess. I am the Ring Soul, the will of the Judgment Ring, the administrator of all fate. The world drowns in its own history, and in this time, you must carry the burden of fate. Fate? Did I stutter, woman? I can see it. I can see thy future. This I trust to you. We got an attack boost. Power to command the Judgment Ring. Such power will help you carve your way through destiny. Wait, why? Why give this to me? I oh, went for the wrong voice, whatever. Judgment Ring has the power to change the world. Fate only follows a straight path if it is used well. Fate. The straight path. Nano machines. There is nothing more to say. I will appear to you again to bestow upon you more power. But beware, I am always watching. Even when you think you're alone, because I am Santa, watching to see if you're truly the one to command destiny. You should be honored being choos chosen like that. Don't keep your new power all to yourself. Ring customization has been added to the command menu. Ring customization. Ring customization allows you to enhance the battle judgment ring with ring items. For example, you can change the ring areas or set up auto ring. Do you want a more detailed explanation about ring customization? Yes. And yeah, you can see already that there are way more systems in this one. Ring customization allows you to change five individual settings of the Judgment Ring. 
Under hit area width, you can expand ring areas by equipping area expanding items. You can expand the areas you're weak at, making the ring easier to use and more effective for you. Add-on effects work by equipping items to the ring that supplement your attacks with special properties. The higher the level of the add-on effect item you equip, the more effective your attacks will be. Under hit areas, you can increase the number of attacks you can perform by equipping attack boost. Yes, straight up changing the number of attacks. More attacks means increased damage to the enemy. But the more you have, the narrower the ring becomes as a whole, making the possibility of ring misses more likely. It's best to, best to adjust it to a point that you're comfortable with. Ring types lets you choose between four different kinds of battle judgment rings. The default selection is normal ring. There are four different types of rings. The attack abilities and ease of use vary for each one. Standard ring missing, okay, whatever. Practice ring without perfects. Technical ring. Gamble ring. It's faster, but only one. Use whichever ring you want based on your skill and your objectives. If auto ring is set up for a character, the ring becomes fully automatic and you're guaranteed no ring misses. I don't know, I think most people's rings are kind of semi-automatic. When they have to go, they go. If there's a character whose judgment ring you find hard to control, auto ring can be really useful. But auto ring characters also have some limitations, such as normally getting only one attack per turn. That's all for the ring customization explanation. Good luck in battle! I guess. Let's read the explanation. Standard ring. Missing a hit area stops the ring. The number of attacks is determined by the number of hit areas you successfully hit. Practice ring is an easy ring. Missing a hit area does not stop the rotation of the indicator. This ring's disadvantage is that it doesn't have any strike areas. Technical ring is a difficult to use ring. Missing any hit area negates your attack. Although hard, this ring allows for extremely powerful attacks. And Gamble Ring is a special ring with only one hit area, it's also far faster than the other rings. Succeeding has the same effect as hitting every area on a normal ring. It's, it's, it's kind of a nice uh, choice that you get. I'm gonna go with three. Let's remove all hit area expand this right? What? Why? Okay, I guess. Since I have three, I'm gonna go with one, one, and one. Okay, he can only get two. Now oh, that's big enough.
Another door, which is tightly sealed. side. What about the other side? Oh. stick to this, even if the screen goes black, whatever. Should be a level for Karen. And yeah, this game doesn't let you heal when you level. Got a pure leaf, alright. I don't want to use items, but there is a safe point here, there has to be. And I got my ass kicked. You know the best thing is, the hitbox for the save point seems to be better in this one compared to the other one. This is it. Behind this door. Be careful now. There's a familiar keeping guard in there. Do you understand the words coming out of my mouth? seems clean surely they have some janitor working here there you are the mighty has fallen from the strongest boss in Kodelka to the tutorial boss. Here it comes. That's not really that strong. Don't miss. Oh no, I didn't want to sub- I don't know what's up with me. Good, enough. We get it. You're strong. 
why am I messing up? I think I'm focusing too much on getting perfects that I am really messing it up. The timing is different from the first game. Yeah, the, the fewer turns the enemy gets, the more experience you get. And we both leveled. Good. Is that it? Yes. The ultimate tool for exercising demons. I said Hilto. Kind of um, anticlimactic for a scene. It's like, oh, this is it, yeah. Ultimate tool, done. It doesn't even name it. Revenant, undead creature haunted by its own regrets. Small bits of rotten flesh still cling to its skeleton. It despises all living things and attacks randomly. It's moving with a beat. Statue brought to life by black magic, its intelligence makes it a powerful foe. So if it sometimes uh, feels the need to rebel, it's fitted with iron restraints for protection. Doesn't really look like a statue to me. Gargoyle, guardian of holy bones in Napoina Tower. Its body is composed of dozens of different types of beasts, making its appearance quite grotesque and unnerving. The bottom is like lizard ish. I don't know if that's a scar on the face or what. It's like a face of an orc or a goblin. After France, we're leaving Italy. Map of Italy feels a little squashed there, but whatever. Let's go to France. A card, eh? Don't worry. I've made the necessary preparations. Preparations? Yes. Split up and surround the church! She's doing the whole nanomachines thing. Hey, buddy. Rest assured, nothing's getting past old Johan. That's exactly why I'm worried, Johan. Alright. It's a ducky toy. I don't know why I'm missing so much. Even my last session is uh, when I was playing. Uh... Oh, now it's now it's all messed up. 
My last session in Shadow Hearts 1 was the same. Focusing too much on getting perfects. Son of a. They were foolish to face. I don't know why I'm playing so badly. something. Hey buddy. Uh, if, if that demon comes back, I'll give him the hot taste of death this time. That's a promise. Mm, and nothing here. Hit Terry expand. Nice. I didn't even equip it. Commander, are you sure? He heals me, yeah. I remember there was a soldier that healed me. I could push myself to a level or something, I guess. How much to the next level? Thirty-six. And how much am I getting per Fight. These wolves are not shutting up, are they? A wooden lion. Oh, it's only four. Not really worth grinding here, I guess. I'm just gonna double check if there are any other items. Nope, oh, that's it. Are these wolves on shift or something? They don't shut up. This gave me 9 experience, which is much better than the other one. I think that's enough for her now. Yes, yes, just heal me. I'm sure. Heal me. And they're 
all spread up. Oh, I got it. I did not struggle this much with the first game. Not a single duck was given. <laughs> I can Apparently some people go for a perfect run. Every hit is a perfect. Man of luck. That's for a revive. the enemy chance for first strike. Nice. Don't mess this up. I almost did. May they receive God's mercy. Bring perfect victory. They think they can keep us out of these little toys. Everybody, I wonder. They're probably hiding somewhere. I bet that wolf that was howling was warning the villagers. What? Demons and wolves protecting a village? Yes, admirable, aren't they? Foolhardy little volunteers. surrounded. It's like the game is taking the piss by just making these ducks attack me. Nope, they're too spread out. Something is up. I refuse to believe I'm messing up this much. Expand. Nice. Let's use it on the second strike area. The one I tend to mess up. It 
could be it could be an input delay I'm not sure that because the game occasionally lags a tiny bit when I'm moving around but it feels really inconsistent sometimes I just feel like it's fine other times not so much I don't even try to knock on the door Like with Nikolai's, I am more likely to hit it, which is why I'm thinking it's not. Partly with the effort. Although I do notice that with Karen, the screen goes black in the background, doesn't it? Hmm. It's you, Commander. I thought I heard some people around, that's all. Is there some other unit here besides ours, I wonder? This map is weird. Are we all done? Oh, what is this? Hmm. Probably done. I feel like there is more. This is it. Oh. Please be close. Oh yes. And please don't miss. Here it comes. Was that it? Partly with the effort. No damage victory and ring perfect victory. Nice. Yeah, I, I'm getting fewer issues with Nikolai. I guess I should be thankful that, well, now the screen is going black. I guess I should be thankful, at least I am decent with the protagonist. It's all or nothing, isn't it? Either I do it just right, or completely miss it. The church isn't far now. She doesn't talk, does she? I, I forgot how little she speaks. It's just Nikolai telling her everything. Scene time. Careful, Lieutenant. Something's up. The village seems even stranger than before. I like how there is space for a picture and they're like, nah, this guy doesn't deserve one. 
Sergeant Robert, the old veteran. Maybe that demon called in his voice. Thanks for the warning, Sergeant. You men wait here. The lieutenant and I will go inside. Alright, it's a good thing I saved. Ready for whatever. Stop! It's dangerous to leave now. But why? He has cut. Show your true self, demon of Dom Remy. Hmm. I've been wanting to meet you, God Slayer. All those dead soldiers outside. Are you the one who killed them? That's right. You see, I don't want any witnesses to what is about to happen here. <laughs> Give me the girl. What's going on? Come and take her. If you can. again. <laughs> Relax. I had a stubborn sergeant to deal with. Huh? Stop right there. One dumb move and the girl here dies. Go ahead. Then you'll die next. I wouldn't expect any less. That's exactly what makes my long search for you worthwhile. You've been looking for me? I was ordered by the Lord to destroy a certain traitor. A man who brought God down from heaven and tried to lay waste to the world. <sighs> but before I could, a man with the power of a demon defeated that traitor and the God he had brought down from heaven with him. Yes, it was you who did it. I'm glad to finally meet you, the man who stole my prey from me. But before you grow into a problem for me like that traitor Albert Simon, I'll root you out like the weed you are. Who are you guys? We are Sapientes Gladio. We alone possess the light of new hope to guide us through the 20th century. Never heard of you. <laughs> That's fine. Once we destroy you, God Slayer, the world will learn our name. Your life will be our ticket to renown. Huh? And your soul will be brought back into God's grace by the power of the holy mistletoe. Nikolai! Hey there, she changing sides on us? She's nothing to us. She's merely a tour guide. She'll die here along with the others. Who are you, really? It doesn't matter. Thanks for bringing us here. 
You might have made a fine ally. It's really quite sad. Let that girl go. Or else. Yeah, or else what? You gonna shoot her too? Huh? <laughs> that looks like a very thin gun. Huh? Rat! Yeah, Yuri had some Botox done on his cheeks. <laughs> what the hell is this? Ready. Mama made it. <laughs> Here, it's still warm. Thanks. Mm-hmm. He really likes you, doesn't he? Uh, yeah, we've been together ever since Papa died. Until now, he's never taken food from anyone but me. I wonder if they'll come back. They will. Because they left soldiers alive in the town? I wonder what they want with the village anyway. Huh. Anyway, if they come back, this guy will let us know right away. Or they can just give him some bread and he won't make a sound. Yep. Oh, so here you are. Grandpa! Jean, your mother is worried about you. Oh. Huh? That's good. <laughs> oh, that stinks. Are you drinking again? <laughs> Don't be so hard on me. This is my one true pleasure. <laughs> well, better get to bed. Your mom's waiting for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> good night, Yuri. Good night, Grandpa. Good night. I'll see you in the morning. You too. Shouldn't you be turning in soon? <laughs> After I have a few more drinks. Let me see that. Hmm? Uh, just a little sip. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! I think his outfit from one is better. As a design. Mm. This one feels weird. That's good. Oh, wonderful. Say, how long are you planning on staying in this village anyway, huh? Hmm. I'm not really sure. What about you? How long are you going to stick with me? I'm not really sure either. Hmm. Lazy old bum. They're gonna keep coming back. No matter how much you beat them.
They always do. Yep. This war is not over by a long shot. We need... A safer place to stay. That's right. There is no safe place. Not around here. You know that, don't you? That's why I'm staying right here. I'll protect this village until I die. What's with you? Huh? Sounds to me like you're just looking for a place to die. Well, you're wrong. I don't plan on throwing my life away, old timer, if that's what you're thinking. Is that so? <sighs> Besides, my life isn't my own anyway. This life of mine was given to me by her. No one told you to be lazy. Not to get the good ending. <sighs> you can see his uh, pendant, the malice one. It's red now. It changes color at times. It was blue in the church. Not a very good scream, is it? Not as bad as Xenoblade 2, but not good. managed to pull you out of that light in time. You can hardly walk. <clears throat> what happened to the village? Uh, the soldiers came and took the villagers away. <clears throat> no. Can you walk? We can't stay here. I'm feeling better. Don't push yourself. You barely survived. You're a lucky man. We'll head for Paris through the woods. I've got an apartment there. But, but, uh... If they find you, they'll kill you too, Miss, uh, uh... Karen. Hmm. I'm Geppetto, the puppeteer. This here is Yuri. First, you have to think about surviving, right? Hmm? Fine. I told you I feel all right now. At mistletoe. Uh, we'd better figure out what kind of curse it put on you. Hmm. Yeah. Sapientes Gladio. Huh. Yep. Now we have three other party members. Completely different. And if we go to characters, Ring Soul. Soul of the Judgment Ring that controls all fortune can appear at any time and gives ring power up items. Its true form is a mystery. Cardinal Nikolai Conrad, disguised as an exorcist from the Vatican, he is actually a knight priest sent by a secret society to destroy the Don Remy demon, curse Yuri with a mistletoe relic. If I looked at his profile earlier, he does say he's actually a heretic and not an exorcist. 
which is why I didn't read it out loud. Lenny Curtis, huge warrior and leader of the Secret Society's assassin group. The Steel Claws, he's highly praised by his superiors for his hard work and devotion to the cause. Earth Element. Ducky toy. Toy made up of three ducks. Ready? I wouldn't have guessed it. Oh. From the front, their names are Mo, Dog, and Squawk. They are connected by an invisible string that someone must control. Toy made from cedar, uh, its build, uh, builder wanted to convey the ferociousness of a hungry lion. Pulling its tail winds a hidden spring so it can run for about 20 minutes. 20 minutes, that's actually impressive. A knuckle mounted weapon, the rusty spikes make the wounds, it inflicts all the more painful. And a cotton shirt, a strong, thick, comfortable shirt. Its absorbent material is good in hot weather. The simple design requires a tasteful touch to make it elegant. And we have a leather belt as an accessory, which is... A standard belt made from New Zealand sheep's leather. Where is Fred when you need him? Ask him if this is really New Zealand sheep leather. Puppet thread, cotton thread used for marionettes, roughly spun and easily broken, used by apprentice puppeteers to brush up their skills. Tusk brush, ready a brush? I, I don't remember what blank I used. Animal brush made from boar hair, used to clean and polish fangs and tusks to their ultimate hardness. Zero. If you get another bird, you, you should name her Blanca. Alright, I think we're good. Look at Blanca looking at me like, what the fuck is this guy looking at? Don't you think you should rest some more? No, I don't think so. Well, heading, be heading deep into the art in this forest. We better be prepared. Oh, and I, I should give you this. Vocalore crest. Andar's crest. Fur fur quest. Crest, not quest. This crest has magical power. Anybody can use magic if they can if they have that. All they have to do is equip it. What do you think? Pretty spiffy, eh? What's the matter? <laughs> um thanks, but uh no thanks. Yeah, his profile picture looks really different from his actual character design. I don't need magic like this. I can do my fusions. You're sure? It's a pretty handy thing to have. Hey, wait a minute. Don't tell me it's because you can't remember spells. Well, never mind. Blanca and I will use it then. You understand what we're saying? Well, what do you know? Crest and Crest Magic. You can equip characters with the crests you've gotten by going to Crest Change on the command menu. They'll then be able to use the Crest Magic that's sealed within each equipped crest. Yuri cannot equip crests. But gee, I wonder. Maybe it's because of that curse, but there's been something strange about you. Arr, arr. <laughs> right, crest magic. We have folklore, which is hail beak. 
Andras, Mirage, Infurfur, Gale Spin. And they have different levels. Hill Beak is Water Claw Special Damage, Piercing, Small, 2 hits. Andras is Increase Evasion Rate for 1 ally. And Gale Spin is Wind Claw Special Damage, Circular, Small, 2 hits. Yeah, basically anyone can use anything. Um, I don't know who I should... Yeah, let's do that. You think I'm some kind of idiot, don't you? Whatever, yep. We don't get going soon, the sun will set before we get out of the forest. Ready to go? Uh, no, let me talk to you actually. I guess, yeah, nothing else to do. Yeah, here is a save point. Bye bye, Nikolai. Solar energy is 50. We have 1000 in cash. What's the matter? Everything's the matter. Something seems strange. Uh oh, oh, be careful, everybody. Here come some monsters. Wait a minute, where are my fusions? moves in a very strange way like and she doesn't move like a doll well guess that had to happen sometime in a creepy forest like this you're the one that's driving the monsters to us you know what seems that the holy mistletoe curse had a bigger influence on you than we thought yuri Influence. Yeah, it's a curse that works on your mind and spirit. I bet you can't be fu do fusions anymore, right? Yep, it is Geppetto. That's his name. Your soul has become unstable, and it's emitting waves that draw the monsters. You mean they might be able to kill me while I'm like this? That's about the size of it. The malice that fills the world and the malice that's trapped in your soul are both growing and creating hatred. 
What can I do about it? Why do you know so much anyway, old man? I don't know. The only thing we can do right now is concentrate on staying alive. Yeah, you really can't use magic and I don't have any fusion monsters at the moment. And yeah, my soul energy went up to 53. <laughs> you won't get away. He does not build like an assassin. for it. Yeah, this, I remember this place being a maze. is meant to be a, a mage, not an attacker. I guess I could um, customize the rings. Well, I can't make it more than once. I can't make it more than twice for him. For her, I guess. A battery. Let's go this way first. I remember this place being such a maze. It's already bigger than most dungeons in the first game. Nah, better not. The animations are silly as hell. <laughs> Meanwhile, Karen is just like, nope, I'm not doing anything for you. I should customize the ring. Oh, what I invested in Karen is gone. That's nice. Benedict. 
addiction. Doesn't seem to be working. Maybe it's out of use. I wonder if this battery would work. Shove it in. the shoe puff okay I should save that as a sound bite we left plenty of things back there so let's go back up what's this button it says power operation press it press it oh i don't want to watch it press it the lift's as low as it can go ride the lift top level Should equip the leather cap. Where's his defense power? His defense is low, I guess. Well, can't really equip it. No one but Yuri. Let's go one level and then backtrack a little bit. I think there are multiple branches in the forest. I can't use magic anymore. It's only gonna get rougher from here on. Because I didn't even use a tent back there. Let's take this side. Well, 
magic for me. Perfect fight. Two soul points and the level ups. Hey, a new quest. Let's equip. As wind claws to one ally's physical attacks. That's not too bad. Here before. I wish I could look in the map. There is no map button. Yeah, I think that's where we came from. so well. <laughs> One experience to the next level. Let's go this way first. Uh, no. Try over here. Hey, we got an item. Apparently, should I heal? Big guy. Then I wanted the perfect. Actually, missed the old man. Nice. Hates to lose. No one loves to lose, Yuri. Seriously. I swear this map. Hey, 
military expand. Nice. Medicine. That's pretty useful. Um, I'm only powering up um, Yuri. Yeah, this dungeon is already more complex than any dungeon in the first game. Get perfect, right? I'm kind of screwed. Ah, oh, good. Really. It's a puzzle. I think all of them need to be on or something. Let's pull the right one. Hmm, okay. Left. Okay, whatever. So each one moves the one to its left. Hit area expand. Drunk. Are you all right? Hang in there. We're almost out. <sighs> Let me take a little break. I'm so sleepy. Hey, Yuri. the 
hell? There's a tree here. Whoa, what's going on here inside my soul? Something strange is happening. Is it because of that mistletoe thing? Huh? What? What the? That's me growing there. Hey, hold on. What the hell does this mean? What's going on here? Are you alive? Are you? No. This is one question you can never say no to. It's like, are you asleep? No. This is bad. I'm starting to feel sick. What do I do now? I can't do soul fusion anymore either. Whenever somebody asks me if I'm awake, I always say no. Guess I'd better have a look around in here. Inside my soul. What a creepy tree. Looks like that mistletoe thing could have come from it. That me growing it in the trunk is breathing slowly, like sleeping or something. Yeah, the graveyard looks really different this time around, doesn't it? The Door of Heaven's Commandments. Instructions from Heaven? Maybe? What's that all about? Hmm. I feel a restlessness of monsters stirring in this place. Hey, I know. I bet their presence has something to do with why I can't do fusions anymore. <laughs> Guess I'd better take a look. And no, I'm not awake. I'm sleeping right now. Alright, so we have... That's uh, Earth, I think. No, wind. That's wind. Light and fire. And the other side has... Uh, Door of Hell's Commandments. Instructions from Hell, is it? What in the world does that mean? Water. I don't want to pack water yet. Water, darkness, and... Earth, I believe. So now I get to pick a fusion. Which element do you guys think I should go with it first? I'm thinking either earth or fire. I'm thinking fire, probably. Crest. There is dark, yes. Fire indeed it tends to be more physical. But the left side is more physical, the right side is more magical, I'd say. I'm gonna go with fire. There's an altar here. Hold your hand up to it. Sure, why not? What the? What the hell was that flash? Ugh, something is flooding into me. Fight fills your heart once again. You got Carol's soul. I got a fusion power back. Okay, I get it. All I have to do is beat monsters out in the real world, collect their souls, and come back here. If I revive the other classes the same way, I can do fusions of them too. 
Fusion Monster Growth. You can make fusion monsters you got in the graveyard stronger by using Soul Charge on Yuri's personal screen. Do you want a more detailed explanation about Soul Charge? Okay. Soul Charge is a way of increasing a fusion monster's powers by charging, the, uh, charging up its soul energy. To do it, all you have to do all right, and select Soul Charge. Alright. Press and hold X, the X button on the charge screen to charge up the fusion monster's soul energy. When the soul energy meter on the left of the screen reads full, the fusion monster's level will rise and it will be able to use more powerful skills. Okay, I might have enough for another one, huh? What's that? Wake up. Huh? Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, get up, get out there. Is he human? Or maybe... Dancer? <laughs> yeah, he's human. Yeah, but he's a strange one, all right. Have you been with him for long? Hmm? Well, over a half a year now, as near as I can recall. He suddenly appeared one day, along with my late wife's niece. Your wife's niece? Well, she was more like my own daughter, but unfortunately she was already dead when he arrived. Now we need to see the connection. He and Yuri were lovers. He dug her grave with his own hands. We've both lost people in our lives. We just try to live as best we can. Hmm? <laughs> With his own hands. Wow. Remember when um, Alice was saying she's gonna go with Yuri to see her mother? Oh, it, uh, yeah, and then that's the rest of the family, I guess. He's having a wet dream. What's going on? Man spreading. Him in the balls, he's gonna wake up. Fuse with the soul of a monster. Fire spirit summoned by the soul that seeks out battle. Yeah, the e fusions feel a little odd.
so close to perfect. I think that's Earth Element. Oh, I gotta turn again. Hailbeak. better damage. Right enough. This is copying um, Elden Ring, the spider hands. I should do a combo. Probably. I got Basago. Three turns, four souls, and all right. We got a poison one. Now we can inflict poison with attacks. What's going on? That thing just jumped out from inside you. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry about that. It's all because of that weird holy stick thing. The monster souls inside of me are starting to get a bit unruly. Monster souls? Yeah, he's got a strange power. Whenever he beats a monster, he takes their souls and then can fuse with them. I can change into a monster, okay? <sighs> hmm. Huh. Uh. Anyway, it's good we're all okay. Let's get out of this forest before something else happens. Okay, your dog is poisoned. <sighs> All right. That's the save. And let's take a quick break, shall we? It's a good time for a break. Yeah, let's take a break and we'll come back in a few minutes. As usual, I'm gonna run some ads using ad blocker, but you're not gonna miss anything because I'll come back after the ads. So yeah, see you in a few.
All right, I'm back. Sorry, I made myself a quick sandwich and um, I wanted to make use of that. All right, so we have 84 points. We can unlock another element. Two elements, actually. Which elements do you think I should go for? I picked the first one, you guys pick the second one. Door of the Labyrinth. What's that mean? You get lost if you go through? <laughs> Sounds like fun. I don't actually remember what that thing is. Door of Desires? Pretty thick door. You can't call a door thick, come on. Door of the God of Wrath? Doesn't budge. The options are water, wind, earth. Darkness, light, 
and um, yeah, these are the elements. We got fire, so we have light, earth, dark, wind, and water left. I think Earth was a bit more support. Earth and Wind are a bit more support. Light is more... non-elemental, I think. Dark? Alright, let's go with dark. Fire is usually good in... for physical, most of the time. Most games, most RPGs. Alright, told sure, why not? Desire fools your heart once again. Nox. Right, since we got dark, let's go for Hmm, let's go for wind, shall we? Still bugs me that wind is yellow and earth is uh, green. Smile fills your heart once again. Malachia. And if we look at personal. Fire spirits summoned by the soul of, of their devil seeking war. The more triumphant the mood of the harmonixer, the more powerful the firepower in its two fists. Malachia. Wind spirit born by the soul that loves freedom and pities those in bondage. With the power of the wind, it slices through enemies like a razor blade. Minor dark angel that resides in the souls of the weak willed. Although it lends power, it soon takes over the person's soul, bringing despair and gloom. Yeah, his, he, he pretty much dresses the same, but is more tattered and... Yeah, you can see Carol deals more damage than the others in terms of physical. And they have different weights too. Alright, physical, anti-air, Shortens turn interval for one ally. That's kind of cool, actually, for wind. Use special attack power. It's not bad. Oh, damn it. We lost connection again. Yeah, my router completely went dead.
Yeah, something is up with my router, possibly. Or it could be maintenance. Is this not getting any reception? Yeah, my router went completely dead for a bit. And now it's really unstable. Bitrate is like 2000. I think I'm still gonna restart it, possibly. Or maybe not, I don't know. Is it stabilizing? It's stabilizing at the low bit rate, like half of what I want. Yeah, I'm gonna do a quick restart of the router. It's weird. Weekend, it wasn't working too well. It was working too well. Now it's not working too well. Yeah, quick restart. Okay, I think we're good. Can everybody hear me just fine? If you can hear me, type Bazar Garavijarium. Is 
That's the only way I'm going to confirm if you can hear me. Type Renfer brings it on you. Had a poison effect. <laughs> yeah, my router just completely died for a bit. Unplugged it, plugged it back in, and then the connection speed was really low. So I restarted it. Let's save and you know this is still better than my old ISP. You remember my old ISP where I just couldn't do anything about it? This one at least I can restart. I just left the graveyard. Fuck. Yuri. Huh? John? What are you doing here? <laughs> I came to see you, Yuri. But I have to be coming far, far away soon. Far, far away? I remember a girl in my school, in secondary school, her name was Far Far, and people just made fun of her going, Have you been to the land far, far away? Yeah, because I died, you know. Died. Before I go far away, far, far away, there was something I could just had to check first. That's why I came here. <clears throat> something you wanted to check? What? I'm looking for something inside your heart. Inside my heart? Valves? Don't go digging up anything embarrassing, you hear? So, what are you looking for? <laughs> it's a secret. Don't worry, I'll tell you if I find it. They don't even show her dying. It's, it's, it's really weird, this bit. Hey, wait. Yuri, are you scared of the journey that's about to begin? Huh? The journey of living your life alone, are you scared? Um, am I scared? I know some cho choices affect the ending. But I don't remember which ones. I think only the very end. Nah, of course I'm not scared. I see. But you can't escape it, you know. They never show her dying. And this guy's face looks really like he's taking a shit like I think only the final choice in the final dungeon matters. The mistletoe is a powerful item. Yeah. The church has used it for centuries. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, as a tool for guiding lost souls. Hmm. Well, that's what it says here anyway. It's now being kept at the Vatican. So it's going to guide my soul, too? Yeah, I suppose so. Hmm. Hmm? That's bull. It is not bull! Is there some way to fix it? 
Well, you've got to do something. I think you're screwed. Oh, ow, stop. Let go. Oh, you old man. She slept. She packs quite a wall of pay. Yep. All I could see was the stars. That's all. Hey, you mean you saw something else? What did you see? Paradise. You did. Damn, I couldn't see a thing. Paradise, eh? So, what are we going to do now? Hmm, I've run out of ideas. You gotta be kidding me. Thanks to that miserable mistletoe, there's something definitely off about my condition. And to top it all off, my body seems to be sending out waves that attract monsters from miles away. Is there anything you can do? I have one idea. If this old fart can't do anything for me, I'll go ask an even older fart. What? Who are you calling an old fart? There's this weird old creature I know, living in Wales. This guy is really, really, really old. Dude, we saw Roger Bacon being held by Lenny. So... He, he shouldn't be in Wales. So this guy knows a lot, eh? Yep, he's been alive for centuries. Eh, who are you talking about anyway? His name is Roger Bacon. He's kind of creaky and broken down in places, but we can depend on him. Roger Bacon? You mean that legendary magician? That's the one. I told you about him before, right? Told you I knew him. Yeah, but I thought you were kidding. Well, sure, a great magician like Bacon ought to know about that holy mistletoe and about Sapientas Gladio, to boot. Well, it's settled then. We're off to Wales, in the UK. Not London, see? Like the first game where they put Wales in the map of London. Um, hold on, guys. Hmm? If we just go north to Calais, the port town, that's where the front line is, so it'll be hard to get a ship there. Then why don't we head a little south to Le Havre? There ought to be private ships still sailing from there. Le Havre, eh? Huh? Hmm, Kevin, was it? We don't know what kind of danger we're gonna be running into, so you should be heading home now, little lady. Dude, she's a soldier. Look, I trusted that man, and trusting him got my man killed. I can't go back to my country like this, and even if I could go back, they'll probably just find me and kill me. You wanna come with us then? Do you see what kind of shape I'm in? I can't guarantee your life, you know. She can fight, I think. I hope you don't mind. Ah, that's from my university days. <laughs> uh, 
I found it over there. Is it alright if I borrow it? Hmm. Uh, you're welcome to it, my dear. All the way here? <laughs> sure are stubborn. You notice something about my party in the fight? I have four party members. sound really funny <laughs> like a squeaky toy man you're pretty damn good she didn't really do much <laughs> we got Michael Jackson here See, I know. If you're this good with swords, Karen, let me give you this. What's this? It's a script written by the very hand of the famous opera composer, Wagner himself. Not to be confused with Thomas Wagner, who's a streamer. There is a scene in there that could be very helpful to someone who wanted to polish up their sword techniques. With your great reflexes, I thought you might be able to learn a new trick or two from it, so I brought it with me. Nibelung Prelude. Right, so it's just the Nibelung and um, Opera. You learned Hoyer Felk. Karen's Vortex Arts. As Karen acquires the scores of the Nibelung uh, uh, Opera, she masters more and more sword arts. When she gets a new score, she learns a new sword art or raises the level of an existing one. Wow, this really looks like it's going to be helpful. Fancy bad though. Think nothing of it, but we shouldn't be hanging around here relaxing like this. The entrance to the subway should be just up ahead. Let's hurry. What's this? Mr. Sommelier, Mr. Matador. I am pretty sure I got both of them because I have the save file for the first game. Saint's relic kept in a pointed tower, fresh leaves sprout from the metal decorations, has the power to exercise demon, but only a few may use it. Periapt, a father's gift. This soul fragment used to be a shining blue stone, but after the holy mistletoe curse, it now glows with a sinister crimson. Battery, by America's k and Corporation. Output is weak, but it is efficient and lasts for years, highly valued at remote work camps. What do you think of this one, Shiro? Marcel, the largest sommelier in the world. After 200 push-ups, I can taste the full-bodied effort. Sees the wine analyst popular with amateur tasters. On 
Enrique, the Master Matador, also known as the Iberian Red Tornado. With a rose in his teeth and a ripple of his biceps, he tosses bulls to the ground. Yeah, I crashed earlier a few times actually. More like my uh, connection just died. Manuscript of Wagner's opera. Of course, Thomas shows up when I mention Wagner. The Ring of the Nibelung. Mostly instructions for staging war scenes. The prelude depicts the argument with the giant brothers. Yeah, now she gets sword arts. Hoyer Felk, which is fire claw, special damage, circular, small, one hit. Alright, we got another magic crest. Um, who's gonna. Let's give her one. Oh, cure an aqua edge. Um, oh, we also have a saga, which is surge, increased special attack power for one ally. I'm leaning towards giving him this one. Give him the Sago and for Karen, give her Okolo. Which way is out? That's a very good question. Which way is out? Because I don't want to go out. <laughs> one door leads to the outside, and one, done, one door doesn't. I'm gonna assume the wooden door is... Okay, that's good. There, a leaf. This game it doesn't have as much flavor text as the first one. Not much in terms of flavor text at all. Yeah, I don't think I can go anywhere here. I should have tried to perfect it. far from each other now. Can only kill one. It's like I get a good run and then it's back to being terrible again. See what I mean? Guess I don't know my own strength. This is in the winter some way. We got it to hurry.
look at that Eiffel Tower. You know, every time they go, oh, this is Paris, they must show that tower. Regardless of where you are in Paris, they must show this. Films, even if you're not in Paris, unless you're in France, hey, let's show the tower. And they always forget to make the place smell like piss. I don't mean the tower, I mean the whole of Paris. What is that? What is that? Green, red. Okay. Oh. I think I remember something soon. There is a subway station in our neighborhood now too. We'll take you to downtown Paris in no time. Progress makes our lives so much easier. You've got to mind your manners now. Or you're not getting on the train, you hear? We're gonna take the train and go see my aunt. I'm not allowed on the train. I'm not French. Yep, I remember something here. Montmartre is a working class neighborhood of Paris. Not as glamorous as the Champs Elysees, but nice, no? Glamorous. Yeah, if you expect glamour in Paris, you're gonna be for, in for a shock. Known for its hills and its arts, lots of painters and sculptors live here. There's a wonderful painter lodging in my neighborhood. Maybe I should get him to do my portrait. I bet he'd even do a nude for me. He would do a nude for you, or would you do a nude for him? Deadline's next week, but I just can't seem to come up with a new piece no matter how long I sit at the piano. started playing something called the lottery recently but it's hard to get it to stop where you want. Guess I better go try to find another lottery ticket. There's a cemetery near here and they say there are wolves there. Lots of people have heard him howling in the middle of the night. That must be real spooky. Welcome. Well look who we have here. It's Geppetto. Haven't seen you in a while. You disappeared all of a sudden. When did you get back? Just a little while ago. But I'm caught up in a bit of a situation. I'll have to be leaving Paris again right away. You don't say, but you just got here. You sure haven't changed, always sticking your nose into things. That's why they say you're always brown nosing. <laughs> You've got to start acting your age. When I want your advice, I'll ask. But listen, we want to go to Le Havre. You know, any ways to get out of town unnoticed? Mm, you don't want to attract any attention to yourself, eh? <laughs> Say, I know, you could use a subway tunnel. That way you could go where you want without being seen. Rumor has it there are a few abandoned tunnels, and some of them even reach the outskirts of Paris. I see, subway tunnels, mm, that's a great idea, it's not like we used one to get here. But it's just a rumor, right? How are we going to find these tunnels? Hmm, how about we ask somebody that would know? Like somebody that worked on the tunnels? Or one of those train freaks that can name every single station? Okay, let's start looking for somebody that knows about the subway then. In that case, why don't you try going to the Champs-Élysées? They are enlarging the subway over there right now. They'll find Dr. Gaultier, the design engineer in a hotel there. The chandelier who? Champs-Élysées. 
the next station over. I met Dr. Gautier a couple of times before. He used to come to my theater. In theater? You mean he used to be famous, Geppetto? He quit the stage when his wife died, but his show used to be celebrated all over Paris. Shh, don't tell them that. That was all a long time ago. Anyway, we're off to the Chance and his hands. Take a look at my painting. It's my girlfriend. What do you think? Isn't she beautiful? She cooks me meals, buys me painting supplies. She's a wonderful woman. I've got nothing to offer her right now, but someday I'm going to show the whole world her beauty through my art. Yeah, yeah, if you say so, buddy. Feel a lot more at home in some seedy bar than in one of the fancy sidewalk cafes. Haven't seen you for a while, Geppetto. Aren't you going to do your puppet shows anymore, like you used to? My daughter is going to be three this year. I wish I could take her to see one of your Cornelia performances. Taking ballet and modern dance lesson while I work part-time here, all right? Dream is to one day stand on the stage of the Moulin Rouge. Subway, all right. Get out of my face, kid. I remember this kid and I hated him. It's area expand. Only a cutscene. Hold on there. That's a beautiful wolf you have, isn't it? Better than yours, anyway. Wow. Why the antagonism? Please can't sit the top earnest. Ooh, that sounds like a challenge, Tetsu. Why don't you show them whose fangs are sharper? Am I getting uh, caught in the middle of here? I don't want to waste energy on a meaningless fight. What do you say, Blanca? Sounds like they're asking for it to me. I'm going to beat you, then Ernest will be really proud of me. That's a childish reason for a fight. I say no. this dog oh this doesn't really do all that much does it Cora Lariat. 
It's a good accessory, but... but I'm gonna wait. Ernest and I trained a whole bunch and everything. Suck less. Because you're just a little runt. Get good. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Your name was Blanca, was it? Oh, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Ernest, a humble zoologist. This is for you, Blanca. The fuck am I meant to do with a stamp card? I'm a wolf. Arr? What's this? Most miserable looking card. Congratulations, you're now entitled to join the Wolf Belt. A competition to find the world's strongest wolf. Wolf Belt? Just a fancy name for dog fighting. You battle the wolves you find throughout the world and gather paw print stamps as proof of your victories. Ooh, like this. Yep, you learned soul comment. And if you notice, that's you we're basically getting a quest for every party member so far. Slowly, we get Karen's um, collection of the opera. We get Blanca's um, stamps. We got Yuri's fusions, I guess. But every character has a system to learn new abilities. I'll give you a prize for every three stamps you collect. When you fill the whole card up with stamps, you'll be the strongest wolf in the world. What do you think, Blanca, oh boy? Wouldn't that be cool? The strongest wolf in the world, Blanca? <laughs> Does not give a fuck. Come ask if you ever have any questions, and good luck to you. <laughs> Sorry, Ernest. Losing like that. Never mind, Tetsu. You're not a real wolf anyway. You're a mutt. You're a bastard from a basket. I guess there's room for a few improvements. And I'd better get ready before he gets any stronger. Alright, let's have a look at... Manifestation, Soul Comet, Wing Claw, Special Damage, Single, One Hit. Alright, now we can get on the train. Hey, we can take the subway to the Champs Elysees. Okay, goody, let's take it. Excuse me. Only the subway construction crews will not be on the spot service entrance. Now boarding for Montmartre, alright, whatever. Oh, I just remembered. I just remembered. I... yep. <laughs> it's Geppetto. Oh, Jep, we've missed you so much. Oh, we certainly have. You quit the theater so suddenly. We had no idea what you'd run off to, naughty boy. Um, who are these guys? The Magimel Brothers. Pierre here is a tailor. And Gerard runs an item shop. They're my old theater associates. They're used to sell these costumes and supplies to use on stage. It's fabulous to meet you, young man. Yikes. Hey, don't start scaring off my friends. Well, I never. But anyway, now that we've all become such good friends, let me give you a fabulous present. Here you are. Point card. What's the point of this? That, that's a very, very special card. You can use it any shop at all. 
If you have one of those, you can build up points whenever you go shopping. These points really add up. And the more points you collect, the bigger the discount you can get. Isn't that just fabulous? Gee, thanks. Anyway, you haven't forgotten the dress I ordered for Cornelia, have you? <laughs> yeah, my voice is gonna suffer with this one, I can tell. Of course I haven't. And what about you, Zeb? You haven't forgotten that little item I asked you for, have you? Did you bring it? Of course, let's see, where did I put it? Ah, uh, yes, this wasn't easy to get a hold of, you know? Look at that guy behind him. I forgot that. If you have a smudge on your TV, this is certainly getting wiped. Are you guys enjoying the view? I did say it wouldn't be Shadow Hearts without the cameraman focusing, focusing on some ass. Oh, fabulous. Another one for my ultimate collections. Oh, my little heart be still. A start card. Just for that, I'll now send you a fabulous dress. Just pick the design you want, alright? What kind of dress should I make? Turn the pages and pick a design you like. And now we we got Geppetto's uh, quest, I guess. So we can change the design to get any element for Geppetto. Alright, you guys pick. Which element should I go with? We have earth, water, fire, wind, light, dark. And they're all different designs, obviously. Little mushroom, sassy sailor, fire dancer, windy pixie, angel of light, dark beauty. Hmm. I think wind was more healing, if I recall correctly. As I have chosen, you have the one stud card, you know. Mm. Simply fabulous. I'm in the mood now. Just a moment while I whip you up a cute little number. I can now use Holocaust. Oh, isn't it just fabulous? I'm sure you must be very pleased and come again anytime now. Wow, that's a beautiful dress. That's Pierre's genius for you. His dresses certainly bring out Cornelia's beauty. And uh, now just outer beauty alone. Every time my young lady changes dresses, a new possibilities blossom, you know. Now then, Jep, why don't you get a little Cornelia changed? Oh, isn't this just so exciting, people? Should 
app to come across any more stock cards in travel, make sure you snatch them up for me. Make me a dress. What kind of dress should I make? Let's go with water. Yeah, that's the two cards we got earlier. This just changes the look a bit. We learned new stuff, obviously. And there's character affinity. She has high affinity with Yuri for some strange reason. She starts with 10 affinity with Yuri. I should buy weapons. I'm thinking I will buy a weapon. We haven't done a safe state in a while. I don't think we've done a single safe state. Get a silk twine for him. Lost paper. Buy for a discount. Absolute unit. Wish I had an automobile. Going to get daddy to buy me one right away. Let's 
sure, get your daddy to do it. Is that it? I remember there being something here. Yep. Physical defense down. I think I'm gonna actually equip that on Yuri. Been poison. Oh, another heal. Nice, nice, nice. PCs if you notice. Oh look at this great guard, look how shiny it is. Stop that, don't go touching it with your filthy hands. What if you scratch it with something? Well, looks like this shop is closed. Vendel Dolls. The chef can only cook French cuisine at the moment, hoping to branch out sometime. Right. You're looking for a subway expert? Dr. Gautier just happens to be staying at this hotel. He's a design engineer. What do you want, little kid? Let's start with a big noisy man shouting and making a lot of ruckus. Let's go to them. And then this huge spiky man came up to me and said he was sorry. Hmm, adults should know how to behave in public. Lenny? Red Rave Fire Circular Look at my new dress is in a pretty traveling tailor made it, it's kinda swishy, but he's talented, alright. Hello lady. Excuse me while I look around here. Look at that amazing view. I don't mean you. Who is it? I'm taking a shower and I can't come to the door right now. Is it room service? Just leave it and go. Really? This is the guy we need, I think. Why are you carrying a big chest with a tent in it, old man? Ooh, is there something I can help you with? How have you been, Dr. Gautier? Ah, what? Why, if it is an old Geppetto of the Foster's Theater, how many years has it been, my friend? What brings you to visit? This was the last thing I expected. I'm very pleased. Very pleased. We're looking for a way through the subway tunnels out to Le Havre. And we thought maybe you have, could help. Toward Le Havre, I say. Yes, do you know a way? 
Mm, let's see. Just give me a minute to think here. Mm. He's crackling. Twenty years ago, when the nation started building the subway, they poured all of their energy and enthusiasm into it. They went wild and dug tunnels all over Paris, but they didn't end up using all of them. And if I remember correctly, one of those unused tunnels heads northwest. Wow, is the subway tunnel system really all that big? <laughs> well, Paris is at the forefront of civilization after all. Oh, I just remembered. You go down into Champs Elysees station and go right, and that will bring you to the abandoned tunnel to Le Havre. Yeah, right, eh? Got it. Thank you, Dr. Gautier. You've really been a huge help. I'm certainly glad to hear it. I've always been an ardent fan of yours, you know, Gepetto. Why do you want to leave Paris by way of the tunnels anyway? Because we don't have a car? Well, I'm ashamed to admit, but I have a bill collector after me, you see. Very embarrassing business. Oh, I see, yes. The economy's been so bad since the war started. Things are hard everywhere. Listen, don't you worry about a thing. My right hand man is a side foreman down at Jean's A station. I'll send a message down to him to let me in into the restricted area. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much, Doctor. Alright. That's us with a way out. You feel like these cities are more lived in in this game compared to the previous game? Like there were people there. Gautier sent me the word. Please go right on through. The tunnels are pretty fast. Be careful not to get lost. I wish there was a... There is a way. Instant, thank you. Holy fuck. Why, why isn't that in the main screen? I kept thinking of it and then forgetting to check. all over the place. But when is the holy mistletoe gonna kick in, I wonder? The damn little punk looks perfectly fine to me. Nicola said something about the curse taking effect gradually. What kind of way is that to do things? All he needs is one good punch. <laughs> And it has a trap all set up for them on the ground. What? Is that woman? Is that the damn woman here too? Yes, sir. He said it would be the perfect way to kill some time. <sighs> damn that SNM broad. Oh well, they've got that weird puppet guy on their side. Might as well have a magic lady warrior, I guess. Looks like old Nikolai is desperate. Well, 
this will be heading along. Might as well take my time though. This is the way Dr. Gautier told us to go, right? Damn, looks like we can't get through. There's a fuse blown on this thing. We can't move it the way it is. Alright. Strike expand, this is nice. Let's go here. Should I actually keep it on him or give the others? Is that not right? Do this. Get tossed. You're just one millimeter to the right. We got it. We can, we can get the tail. an ugly rat. Yeah, you is one is slower now, so I'm not used to that speed. Where's my apology? Sorry? Alright, two people leveled up. Nice, nice. Shell bracelet, cool. Yeah, that's nice. I'm just going wherever, really. That says TS-37. Let's make note of it. I don't, I don't think it's relevant, actually. Can we push it? Oh, it's a ring soul. I am the Ring Soul, the will of the Judgment Ring, the administrator of all fate. Yikes. <clears throat> Yikes. What the hell are you? A ghost? And why so high and mighty? Oh, it's you again. This is a Ring Spirit, Yuri. Ring Spirit? 
No, no, I am not a spirit, nor am I flesh. I am the ring soul, the will of the judge. So what does he want with us then? The will of the judgment ring, the administrator of all fate. I can see it. I can see your future. This I entrust to you. Got an attack boost. Nice. What's this? The power to command the judgment ring. Such power will help you carve your way through destiny. Hmm. Is that all you can say? Oh, um, he means thanks. Thank you, Ring Spirit. It does not pay to forget gratitude. I will appear to you again to bestow upon you more power. But beware, I am always watching. Watching to see if you are truly the one to command destiny. He's gone. He seemed a little angry. I hope they'll be okay. Alright, so... Do I need customization? We can do this. I didn't want to target that one. What a waste. Fuck's sake. This is rough. Oh, there's a chest. 
SP defend down. Um, yeah, let's do it with that. Oh, this is a safe point. Nice, nice. Need another tent. It's mostly my MP that I've been using. Should I or should I not? This is one mighty big switch. Flip the switch, sure. Seven, not good. Keep thinking it's a cutscene. Attacked all of them. I just hate to lose. side
Well, I thought there was something on the map. Um... Kind of purely, should I go up or down? I mean, north or west? This takes me back, I think. Yep, it does take me back. Did that thing move? It did move, I think. Yep. Damn it. Die. Nice combo break. Please die. Yeah, having one party member with a slower ring is actually counterproductive. Dungeon seems to be a maze in this one. Pocket watch, what, what is that? Stops all ring abnormalities. Hmm. Twenty-five percent slower, but I'm still messing up. Focusing too much on getting perfects. Ignore perfects and just do what I have to do.
Mm. Should I go left or right? What do you guys think? I'm focusing on perfect and I still got a perfect on her. <laughs> that was easy enough. Level seven, good. Dude, they all look the same. All paths look the same to me now. What is a phoenix tail? It's a maze. What is up with the dungeons in this game? And we're surrounded. None of them are next to each other anymore. That wasn't even a workout. Talisman of Luck. These dungeons, man. I do not remember this about this game.
dead ends all around, man. I'm getting items, sure, but... Which way do we come here from? This way, right? spell I stopped I stopped focusing on getting a perfect but occasionally I'm getting better. The issue now is Yuri has an accessory that slows it down by 25%. So my timing is completely off when I use somebody else. Or when I use Yuri, it's like I have to swap my brain a little bit between them. I would say overall it's easier getting perfect than this one. But it's still rough, and the dungeons here are relentless in their design. Do I go this east or north? Let's go north. Okay, good. Sit down. Oh, this one, I can certainly see a difference in terms of damage. That little rat not included. Okay, I'm gonna do that. <sighs> I don't have enough MP. I guess I do, to an extent. But I can't hit two at the same time. In the first one, I didn't really focus on getting perfects because I was using Mind's Eye or Nuri. And that gives me a blind ring, but it makes Every, all the damage uh, doubled. At the end game, I g even gave one to Keith, and it was really good. Yeah, four characters is really good. The combo system is good. I should be using it, but I'm not. I really should be using the combo system. Son of a... You can see Yuri's one is lower. It has more hits. I mean, he's more of the physical damage dealer anyway. Combat overall is much better in this one. Being able to hit multiple targets depending on the position. Amy Crest. And what is that? Heat Edge. Adds fire. Okay. Let's go east. I've been in this dungeon for a while. Yeah, 
if one is out of MP. Please don't miss. gonna go for let's go with for the soldier yeah if I did a perfect with uh, Yuri that enemy would be dead and I'm out of MP to heal Geppetto use a heal. I think I'm close to a save point. I'm gonna risk it. Do I see a save point here? That's correct. Oh, I guess I'm safe. I think what you see across the river saying there is a famous Notre Dame, which got burned down. But I hear they removed all the stained glass when the war started. I hate war. You hate war because of that? Not because of other things. Hmm. Finally made it out of the bustling part of the city. Hate crowds. The French hating something. Make name a more iconic view. Oh, we have it. We have a save point. Ooh. What are we going on? I had no idea. This town is so peaceful. How can you not be aware of... Ah, customers. Welcome. Oh, it's Geppetto. Looking for more puppet parts, are you? No? You're looking for a fuse? Of course I have one. Brought back a real good one, just the other day. If you want it, you're welcome to it. Alright, we got a fuse. You selling something? How much you ask? Don't be silly, I couldn't take money from you for that old thing. Take it. Something else you need? I'd have, you ch uh, have to charge you for anything else, though, I'm afraid. Also, I like the discount system in this one. The more you buy, the cheaper you can get stuff. I have 14 heal items. I should be using it, but I'm cheap. Let's buy a te two tents. Sure, try for a discount. Look at the discount uh, difference. So from that, I got four points, and once I rank up, discount is even bigger. Oh, look at that. This is the accessory I was looking for. Coral Pendant reduces indica uh, indicator speed by 50%. If I buy it for everyone, I'm set for the rest of the game. I'll be using that. Problem is I don't have the money. I can't even afford one. And they... They sell these things for cheap. Um, I mean, you don't get much money because they don't want you to sell it. But these things I can sell. I can get a 5% markup. I'm gonna try and save a little bit. 
that's the accessory I need to go for the perfect. 50% indicator speed is amazing. Anything here? Soul Benediction, alright. Should I continue today or should I do it tomorrow? I think we can... Um, I think this boss is coming up. But we can probably do it. Um, let's use a tent. I'm relying less on save states this time around. Should I get another fusion? I could go for two more fusion, well, one more fusion. And not now. Do it later. But basically, this game is a step up in it every way. Maybe the atmosphere is the only bit that kind of a step down. That one is more horror, this one is more traditional JRPG. Don't fight me, please. I don't want to fight. This, this frustrates me to no end. should have been a miss. I can see that should have been a miss. I get 5,000. I'll buy that accessory. Just physical attack it. I like how I am doing fewer criticals with um, Yuri, even though his is slower.
dead. This is terrible. Going through the dungeon more than once to get out. Good thing I remembered the whole fuse thing. Why am I good with Karen, but not... Not Yuri. That wasn't even like, I'm more likely to get a perfect on Karen compared to anyone else. Alright, now go right. Or not. And they're all over the place. Fantastic. I jinx myself. Just die. Why are you hitting the old man? I plug in the fuse, in the fuse slot. I'll just wing it. <laughs> Bye, train. Hope I never get to see you again. All of this time, just because this train was in the way. Boss. I, I'm sure we can squeeze on the side. Hey, look, I bet we could use this. <laughs> Great, we can clear a lot of ground fast with this. Okay, so we're riding. If it was a PS1 game, this will be a mini game. What's that? <laughs> I gotcha. That guy's pretty stubborn, ain't he? Nah. Hey there, Spike Boy! You couldn't catch a cold if you wanted to! Now bite me! No, you bite me. Mm. Why, you little... Here is a fun thing. I wanted to title the stream Bite Me, but Twitch wouldn't let me. Imagine that. For 
also alarm Lenny went the other way. But we have the SNM broad as he describes her. and girls, this is the entrance to paradise. Oh boy, what kind of character have we run into this time? Sells up now and be my slaves, and I just might spare your lives. That's quite an offer, but we'll pass. We're not really into that scene. Such a shame. It'll be too late if you change your minds later, you know. I wonder if you'll be saying such brief things after my pretty pets here had their way with you. remember this one being a little rough. One is water and one is fire. Let's go with... Let's kill the water one first. I should go for the combo, right? This one tosses him in the air, right? Combo. Let's go with Yuri. She has fire there, so yeah, combo with Yuri. Fuse, Carol, yep. Hard hit. Geppetto died.
bit of damage. Too greedy. One is dead at least. Berserk. Damn it, Karen. I'll speak to your manager next time. Hold on. Oh, Chris Magic. This one pushes him back, all right. Let's do a combo with him. Combo, him. Do nothing. Geppetto, do nothing, combo, Geppetto, combo, Geppetto, That should be our victory.
Yeah, you're about to die really easily. Oh, we got Zepar and Citri. This amount of money, this amount of souls. Just this once, but I won't go so easy on you next time. There she goes. There she goes again. Another weird character to deal with. With members like Lenny and that chick, what kind of secret society is this anyway? Finally. And it healed me to full. That was rough. But alright, four hours into the game. And we're gonna call it today here. It's been a good. I think it's been a good stream. So yeah, let's uh, pick this up uh, hopefully tomorrow. I hope my connection is more stable then. But yeah, uh, thanks everyone who stopped by today, hosted, lurks, lurked, watched, and uh, I'll catch you all next time. You're free to leave, where somebody says you're free to go.